Hello, hello, we are live and we are we are continuing with some Kona. Um Okay, um stop we notification flashing up there in the dark. Oh the notifications, I've got to put them off again. Uh right, let's see if I can quickly do that. Um I've changed everything. Where's my sentence? Um no, it's going to do something and I can't remember where the notifications are. Notifications. Nope. Right. Okay. So. Um. Was I facing that way? I was facing that way. So. Part two. What happened last time? Um. Well, we were hired by Mr. Hamilton to, I think, look at some. Okay. There's a lot of pictures. These scribblings were undoubtedly the mark of a tormented mind. Hmm. Something wasn't right in the poor mechanic's hmm. head. I did not see that last time. Anyway, um, so I, part one, hired by Mr. Hamilton to, I think it was, can it investigate like a theft or something? I can't really remember what I was originally there for, but he's dead. So, try to figure out what happened to him. And the crosses and garlic as well. I've never, I've obviously not properly looked through this house. Garlic to repel vampires, or else. Fair enough. Um, so I, what happened after that? I found a couple of bodies that had been frozen solid. Um, one of the guys was somebody that helped out Mr. Hamilton in his wee shop. The other one was, was it a mechanic? Hold on, let me double check. Oh. 
Aye, it was the mechanic is frozen solid in here. There he is. Aye, against. They keep going to these weird kind of dark reality type places that show you what happened, and it was like some monster or something was at the door and just instantly froze him. But there is apparently some riches and at the end of the last stream came across this. The secret project. Now there's meant to be some Lamoth treasures apparently. I mean I don't know. Uh, so I think the first thing we're going to do is go and check out the secret project and maybe check out some of the houses we missed. So I've been to the doctors, he wasn't there, but it turns out that the guy that crashed into his, or nearly crashed into his at the start, could have been him. So I found the photo of his wife in his car. Old Rosaire is trigger happy, nearly took my head off with a shotgun. Blue in, blue in, blue in, blue in was the place where I could make caribou, I think, that old Roselle wants, but I need sherry and wine, which I don't have. So, I will, we'll get on, look at, track down this secret project. I do need to find the key, the key, the key for this is what I'm missing. I think I was missing anything else. No, nope, we've got the petrol, got the spark plug, need the keys. Don't know where the keys are. Actually, if I double check the wee mechanic, I don't know if he's got them on him. Although, how I could get to him if he does, I don't know. He did toss something up in his bucket, and I can't seem to get that. Like when I went to the dark reality place, it shows you moments leading up to this happening. And before that, it was earlier, like asking about something. Uh, and they look pure panicked, chuck something out of the bucket. But I can't get to that. And it won't let me shoot it. And I don't think. No, but it's crouching. And I can't jump. I thought I could jump, but that's. Not that. Aye, I can't jump up. Nothing here to kind of prod it done. Nothing in the drawers. Um, there's nothing to run about. Okay, I'm gonna keep doing that. That's the button to jump. Okay, so I can jump. I just I can't jump in the garage for some reason. Is that the ball? Um. Right. Well, so doesn't look like I'm gonna be getting the key anytime soon, so I can do Let's give me some warmth. Ah, if the heat gets to the like halfway the narration jumps in and starts pissing them on it being cold, so I need to keep an eye on that. Can I jump up on the roof? So what I will do is take a wee walk up to the secret project. Carl hadn't lived up to his good finder reputation. He still hadn't found any of the wealth contained in Lamoth's That's lands. the thing that keeps popping up. The wealth in Lamoth's lands. Which must have something to do with the secret project. Oh, and there's the loading screens. Right. Well, I did come across a wolf in the last one and usually been running away, but there was one up here that just wasn't having it and I had to, unfortunately, kill it with an axe. But then it was, it was a will for me, I suppose. Okay, well that's ominous. The blood and the shape of the hole in the ground left no room for doubt. Someone had been buried here. Someone whose life had been taken with blunt force. Where was the body Wait. now? Why had it been buried, only to be dug up later? Wait, Carl that showed. He was shrouded in fog. Oh wait, is that my footprints? No, that that's not my footprints, is it? There's definitely an orange guy. Ah, 
those are my footprints. Hmm. Is this where the secret project is? That's the wrong one. Oh, there's a campfire. Can I... Watch that fire, hit him up. De-stress the man. Um, don't think I'm going to be able to get in here, am I? Maybe I can. on the other side. Doesn't sound too healthy. Well, there we go. Secret project. It's found. That large antenna in the middle of the path. Undoubtedly ideal in attempting to communicate with little green men was quite awkwardly placed. There had to be a lever to control it, maybe behind it. Carl would have to figure out how to reach it. Oh, good. Right. So... So there's a path. Give me my map. Right. So there's a path. Looking from this direction. Am I going to have to go all the way back to Royce? Oh, my god. Right. So it's not letting me walk up here. Or I could just take the path up here. Imagine if I didn't see that and decided to go all the way back to Royce and try and get back up here. Oh, a bike. With a bag that has F all in it. Brilliant. No, it's made me go all the way back. Okay. Now, anybody would just, I don't know, climb the other fence. So, what secret project have you got for me? Electric terminals appear to be linked together, but for what purpose? So that's where the generator key was hiding. All that was left was to use it. Let's see. Um, so the red wire. Carl rejoiced at the unexpected source of heat, huh? but not as much as his freezing oh. hands. I mean, I'm following this red wire for what feels like no reason at all. Oh, wait. Right. Sounds like the blue wire crackling. Um, does the blue wire connect to anything in particular? Wait, I think the blue needs to be where I'm coming from. So, we've got blue negative, and is there a blue plugged into anybody else? Right. Hold up a second. So, I'm going to have to f actually follow the wires. Right, so, we've got that one. That leads. And two negative. So blue negative, fine. And I'm guessing there's been more than one blue wire. There is. So I need to positively charge this one, I'm guessing. So up, round, down, up and round here, and it this one. Now that should be open. Hmm, but it's not, right. 
Um, don't know where does this one need to. Oh, radio heats me up. That's okay. That's welcome. Um, that actually leads to nothing. So put this off. I put the green wire on. Hmm. So this blue wire leads. Where does this go? Um, that follows this one round. Don't know nothing. Right. Hold up, let me just just gather my thoughts here. Um Right. F I that doesn't go anywhere. This yellow wire goes to. Does that go to this one? That yellow one goes to nothing. Right. Right. Give me a sec. Right. This negative wire connects up to this one. No. Positive one. Positive one connects to that goes all the way up around here to this one. So what I'm gonna have to do is power them up I'm guessing. So So that red pull this, and then that pulls up, hopefully, the door. This one, that's the negative one, so something, oh, i this wrong again. That red connects up to this one. So if you do that. Still no. Right. Okay. There's something pure obvious I'm not getting here. What if I just connect up all oh, the blue like get all the blues to spark? Man up and let's go back to a locked door, I'm guessing. Jesus. Right, okay. Okay. So this goes up, connects to So they're all connected to this central one, right? That's fine. What's this one connected to? Right, so that's connected to the satellite dish. That's fine. Hmm. So there's two wires connected to this one positive, one negative. So it needs a positive charge, which is follow this one back. That goes blah 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 into here. So right. So this positive charge, fine. Pressure was that blue one. Going back 
Goose chase. There's no way I'll ask it. Um, this blue one goes all up to here, which is negative. So follow this yellow one. It's connected to nothing. Right. So. So that blue one goes all the way back. Hmm. Now that is flashing at nothing. That flashes at nothing. This one. So that yellow positive one. See, I'm start I'm starting to lose the will a bit here because they're all flashing, and I assumed that. <sighs> right. Twenty odd minutes, and I still don't have a fucking clue what I'm doing. Oh, right. Right, right, right. I keep saying right, like it's going to help me. So that yellow leads to what? Goes all the way out of here to this. And this blue leads to what? Exactly. F all again. Good. Right. So we don't want those connected. This red leads. Well, um, up to a cut wire. Okay, so don't want it on that red. This green one goes all over the shop by the looks of things. That connects to here, so if I do that, and this blue goes all the way around to here. So that green, that yellow, will need electricity going into it for somewhere from here off. I lost it. That comes all the way, let's see, to here. And this red one connects to here. Open sesame. Oh, that was ridiculous. Like, seriously. At last, so big an effort for an all so tiny piece of metal. I thought I was going to have to take the fucking oh, snowmobile up there. Right. So now I can go back and get a snowmobile. But I'm not entirely sure what for. Right, hold on. Give me hold on a second here. Um. Before I do that, I'm going to actually quickly get my wee heat because I'm wanting to the snow. I'm going to go back to that bike, I think. Because there's a path leading off for that, and if I can have a wee sprint down there, I can always double back, heat up at the radio, and then bugger off back to the snowmobile. Aye, nice. snowmobile. Aye, nice. snowmobile. That's that. That's just a log. That's a nothing. Right. Okay. Oh. Okay, well, nice to know. Alright, David, how you doing, mate? Thanks for joining us. Um, uh, winning's a 
It's a strong word, let me put it that way. I don't really have a clue what I'm doing. I'm just wondering about the place to place. Finding clues for random stuff and I'm not really sure how any of it connects yet. But uh, I'm not sure how familiar you are with, uh, with Kona. But it was hired to do some I don't know, investigative work, like a petty theft thing. Uh, the guy it's hired is, is somebody's killed him, so I need to figure out what's, who's done that. And it's just taking me for house to house. Like, finding different clues for different things. And the latest one has been a sweet mechanic who looks like he's killed somebody and is obsessed with UFOs. So that's, that's where I am just now. <laughs> and I've found a key for a snowmobile and I'm on my way back to see what that does. I, the whole the whole thing's a mystery. Like, this guy, the guy hired us was called Mr. Hamilton. And it looked like everybody in his own worked for him. Um, or owed him money at least. He's got a, this wee kind of basically a little ledger with everybody's names and addresses on it and that automatically marked it onto the maps and it seems like that nobody in town likes him so I don't know if it's going to be a big conspiracy that everybody's in on it and killed him but there seems to be a lot of people missing and this kind of thing has happened to two people as well it's like some weird supernatural monster I'd not heard of this either. Um, I think it was uh, last year, or the year before. Um, I saw it in Game Pass and thought we we missed it, we puzzle game. Get okay, we go. Yes, I can use it. Um. Not that I can get anywhere with it because... Oh, turned my achievements off on the Xbox but it's still pop up on the laptop, that's good. Can I... Nope. Okay. Thought I'd be able to smash through the gate, obviously not. So I must have some sort of use for it. Nope. But crashing into the garage just stressing them out so I best not do that again. With us, unless this can get me onto the roof for some reason, I don't know. failing to see the point in this. Like, I've done all this to get like to get this snowmobile and I can't do it anywhere. Hmm. Don't know if this is gonna let me do this or if it's gonna kill us, but no, I can't do that. Okay, I'm a, f I'm a loss. I think I'm gonna have to go back to somebody else's house. Harald wanted to know more about this oddball mechanic. Not gonna let me go, is that? Surely he would find something somewhere on this land. Right. What I do know is when I get wee notifications like that, that means I've not found everything. So 
There's still something left to find. It was so cold. Already Carl did not feel his toes. Oh. Aye, we get the occasional moan fest when it gets too cold. I don't know what else I might find for here. I think there's something in the bucket in the garage, but I can't reach it. And uh, I don't think that's not really good to my inventory. Um, pliers, hardware, flare, matches, film, fire starter, pencil, headlight. No. Nah. Weird stuff. Kind of a crossing between a colander and a hairdryer. What was it for? To play telepath? To protect against nuclear waves? Oh, just prohibited. Oh, okay. Moth is a rock collector. Okay. Hmm. Carl deducted this was a map of the area. Were those pins right. pointing to places of interest? So, the secret project project got a key, which seems to have done nothing. Missing something really, really obvious. The milk was sorted by color, from the whitest to the greenest, or in other words, from the precious to the sourest. Oh, seriously, got a step ladders that I can't use. Set of ladders, but out of reach. Radio's working. Um, I think it does, I think the cold does kill you eventually. Um, but once it gets to the halfway point, it gets really, the narration gets like really moany. The vision gets all blood and it stops you from doing anything, and you can only run so far. Um, well, you've got a limited sprint, but the limit gets less and less the colder you are. But I'm assuming it, it will kill him, but I don't really want to find out because I don't know how far back it would put me if I died and I had to reload the checkpoint. That's the, it says it's a survival game, but that's the only kind of survival mechanic I can see to this is like the cold or keeping them warm. Jet ski. Oh, there it is. What do I want to do with this? That looks like a ramp. Oh, they kind of control this. I don't think that's a ramp, I think that's just decoration. No. Hmm. Well, it doesn't seem like there's much else I can do, so... I keep mentioning, like, riches, but I can't find them anywhere.
Right. Don't know the mechanic for now, so I think what we'll do is is we ice cavern. I've not checked out yet. So I'm going to have a look at that. Probably get killed by a bunch of wolves, and then oh, what's, what's going on with us? So, if I get killed at the Ice Cavern, whatever that is. Um, nope, it's not going to take the car down. We're walking. It's the wrong button. Right, we are. I think that's the Ice Cavern just ahead of us. Don't know what's in here, there's been nothing to tell me I should go in yet. But it was one of the wee points of interest marked on the mechanics map. So that might mean it can help me get whatever's in the bucket that's in the garage. What I will do is equipment and a wee hatchet. The cold seemed to be more brutal here than anywhere else. It seeped into bones and into every breath to get to the heart until it stopped. I think I'm gonna die here. Carl needed to be dressed in warm clothes to survive. Okay, right, so. What? Oh, little checkpoint. Um What one do I want? This one? Right, so, <laughs> uh, cheers to that. Thanks for stopping by, though. I'll, I'll let you know what happens if I figure anything out. But at least I know that the, the cold kills us. <laughs> oh, I forgot how long these loading screens are. Right, Lamoth's garage. Right, I still got my jet ski, that's good. So. Right, so I need one close for the ice cavern because it's too bloody cold. And to get the one close. Carl wanted to know more about this oddball mechanic. Oh. Surely he would find something somewhere no. on this land. So, where's my map? Right, so the old guy wants alcohol. And when I get him the alcohol, I can get the warm clothes. When I get the warm clothes, I can get to the ice cavern. So what I want today is probably go back to the shop and see if I can get some wine and sherry so I can mix it in the use the old Patriots my god man I cannot stick to this road um, let's get the alcohol back to the old Patriots house where I can mix the alcohol although why I can't just stick it in the wine bottle I don't know get the warm clothes get to the ice cavern and discover what wee mysteries that's got so it's all, oh shit. Get stuck again. So, everything is connected. It doesn't seem like it is at first, but it does all connect at some point. I just want to back to the main road. Hopefully, we're crashing into anything. Wait, is this main road straight ahead? Oh, aye, I'm not even at that crossing yet. Right, so that's the old guys, the house to the left I've just passed. And that's the doctors, I've been there, there's nothing more to find there. There was no wee prompt when I left the place to say that there was something else not to find. So I will see. There's actually a good few houses that I haven't been to. That are down just before the shop. 
of ever lords that get there. Right. So, reaching the shop, which is... That's not a shop. Nope. I am not... There's a shop there. Just to the left, that is a bridge. I was on that. There's the guy that hired me, right? And want to know. That's right, better. Jumping from that height was akin to tempting death. Hmm. Perhaps that man on the snowmobile had seen enough of this world already. Dark, but okay. A nice picture of the Magasin La Chance store. Seemingly taken the day it was first opened. It feels frozen in time from an era long. Okay. And who are Amateur these? hunters showing some pride at having killed a nice pelted beast. With men like this roaming the area, wolves would become extinct within yep. ten years, Carl thought. It's because they probably would. Another map. Didn't even travel half the province of Quebec to come here. Okay. So, what booze have you got for me? I am assuming that Mr. Hamilton is not going to care. Oops, the light's on. Uh, that I'm going to steal stuff. No thanks, I prefer my beer cold. Okay, record player. That'll do. Um, so I'm just going to move it back and forward. There must be something up here then. Wait, is it sherry wine I needed? I, was, I thought it was sherry and wine. Sherry or wine? I don't know. I don't drink sherry or wine. I don't. Right, if I check my a wee journal here. Um, next section. Nope, not that one. Don't want photos, don't need profiles. Crash, cold mystery. This is telling me nothing. Does that mean there's a couple of more clues for this Hamilton murder? Hmm. Okay. Well, no, I think we've got a wine. What I can do. Could go back to the page, so it's. But. What? Double check the hussies down here first, just in case. Oh, oh. Uh, just in case there's anything I've missed. Keep an eye on for the turns off of the hussies. Oh, keep an eye on the road. So there's a house to the left here. Don't think I checked this one. Oh, I can leave them all there. Bring it back in two seconds anyway. I can't steal this person, Neil. Uh, for. Oh, I was pronounced this again. Julie Lachance. Lachance. Uh, okay. We have carefully taken note of your complaint regarding the collapse of an actual cave in your property. However, given the absence of any actual damage or injury, we cannot move forward with this investigation. The natural cave cannot be considered a personal belonging. Furthermore, your claims regarding the landslides caused by the work in the new DW Inc. mine seem outlandish, as the mine is miles away from your property. Also, it is imperative that you secure your property as you, be, you would be held accountable for any injuries caused by the steep terrain. This is where crying will fleet you. Sincerely, Pierre Valjean, Registrar, Registrar of Surete de Quebec. Am I pronouncing that right? I mean, I took German in high school, so my French pronunciation and words are 
absolutely minimal. Why have we got a torture? Oh wait, did I check this guy's house? Lachance's house. I don't think I did. One triple five. Is it open? Oh. Oh, okay. I the air was freezing right down to the bone. Right, well, I will. Okay, before I do anything. Grab me a log, heat this place up. I mean, he looks like he's about to jump out the window. And we're going to find out what happened. She looks like. I don't actually know who this is here. Carl felt a cool, tingling sensation in his back. Another vision took over him. Oh, okay. Something was hidden under the stairs. So that'll be the first thing I do. Well, that doesn't look good. Oh. The man grabbed his rifle. Carl felt a sense of dread in him. Well, aye. Grabbing your rifle tends to show that kind of thing. Bertrand Lachance, 1948. Okay. Two sets of prints. Perhaps their spousal relationship had been cooling down lately. Okay. So I think that was that was hot at the window. It seemed like secrecy was commonplace in this house. Hmm. Okay. The vision's veil was lifted, and he was back to reality. A reality in which Giselle, Jill's loving spouse, was motionless, frozen. Oh, nice. Giselle's. Oh, Boz, I wasn't finished reading that. Fuck, put it away. Oh, well. Um. Wow, that's a lot of documents I've found so far. Giselle's diary. Um, September. Mother once told me when I first met Julie that I hadn't picked the brightest bulb of the lot, and as years fly by, I'm seeing the truth of her words. Always trust your mother's wisdom. That blackmailing scheme is a prime blackmailing scheme. Mm, okay. A uh, blackmailing scheme of is a prime example of Julie's brightness. Uh, he's like a small dog. He thinks he's bigger than he actually is. He growls, genuinely thinking he's scary, but everyone knows he can be pushed aside with just a little kick. He truly believes he can blackmail Hamilton, the big boss himself. It's going to be a long time in hell for my pool Julie can manage to pull off such a feat. After all, Hamilton's a rich, learned, uh, learned and, uh, and influential man. Not only is that blackmailing idea bad to begin with, let's be honest, Julie is way out of his league. But Julie doesn't even know how he's actually going to carry this out. I don't even think he ever would. He's just throwing random threats out loud in the kitchen. He says he'll do it eventually, but I know better. Successful blackmailing requires masterful cunning, and Julie is a master of nothing. He is a slave and forever will be. I often look at that safe he keeps hidden in the fake wall in which he stores all these incriminating documents he intends to use, and I just can't come to grips with the sheer ridiculousness of the whole thing. I see. Looks like they were repainting the whole house. So... Julie is, he's dead, he's encased in ice like his partner was. The unpacked box he suggested just moved here. So he was going to try and blackmail Mr. Hamilton, and Mr. Hamilton has turned up dead. Julie was near, I'm pretty sure he was nearby. Uh, there's the shop, when he was, where he's encased in ice. I'll take that. Nobody here's going to be needing them anymore. Oh, I'm in 
too close. So, is it a case of he? The pot was cold, and the stew inside wasn't cooked. Well, no, I think they've been like this for a while. Poor Giselle was slow cooking it before she got snaps. What a waste. Yep. Looks like the holes in that puzzle are there to stay. God, man. So I don't know if when he was taking that. Oh, wait a minute. Back when I found Julie, there was a rifle near his body, but the front of it was like you bent out of shape. So I don't know if he's this argument of theirs. Is going to be that window had seemingly been left open for a while. Uh, it's going to be that given the punishing on. weather, it couldn't have been intentional. So, don't know if the argument is that Julie is going to confront Mr. Hamilton with a gun and he's either went and killed him, ran, bumped into this, whatever this weird monster is, and been killed, or he was on the way and got jumped by this monster, had the rifle. Bent out of shape. But then who killed Mr. Hamilton? Let's see. Jay Lachance changes hands. store, along with several more infrastructures in the area, had been acquired by wealthy industrialist William J. Hamilton. Perhaps the village should be rechristened Hamilton. Mm, very clever. Uh, founded by Bertrand Lachance more than 20 years ago, so Julie's dad, I'm assuming. Owned that shop, and then Hamilton's went and bought him it. Uh, better known as Shea Lachance, is one of Man Manistan's economic mainstays. Since the passing of its aged owner, however, business wasn't as blooming as it once was. Julie Lachance, inheritor of the humble establishment, had no choice but to sell everything to William Hamilton, the rich and famous businessman who sparked a major controversy last controversy. Con I can't speak. Controversy last year, when he announced the reopening and expansion of his copper mine. As of now, operations at the general store are expected to remain unchanged despite the change of hands. Julie Lachance still helms the register. Fair enough. So what I'm going to have to do. Carl had seen that kind of safe before. Sign the letter Was its double-layered security system blending letters and numbers? Its code couldn't be broken by the common burglar. Ah, moving. What a pleasant activity. Of course. You'll find the record player only to find the records weeks later in some random box. Hmm. That has numbers there. Don't get means that in there. I can put this away. Um. What a mess. Clearly, there was some major revamping work underway I. here. The place looked barely habitable. Ooh, what's this? Oh, poor life helps. That's not going to help me with any sort of code. Beautiful portrait of Gilles and Giselle, bound together by the chains of conventional love. It's not a phrase, not okay. A uh, box full of Harley Quinn novels. Fair enough. Some cigs. Leave that on. The cross looked after a marriage's well-being. And served as a motivator to uphold the priest's sermons calling for more little worshippers on one hand and cautioning against guilty pleasures on the other. Indeed, the Lachances were still part of the God fearing generation. Feathers. A nice white coating would restore the room to its charm of olden days. What that? Many boxes scattered about. Carl didn't need to summon his detective training to quickly figure that the Lachances had just moved in. Aye, the boxes get that way. Uh, looks like they didn't like the look of this place. Um, not really. What is this? Oh, boxes. A nice white coating would restore the room oh, to its charm say of so. olden days. Many boxes scattered about. Carl didn't need to summon right. his detective training Did to quickly figure that the Lachances had just moved in. No, nope, there's no year where they got married. There's nothing else really that has 
any sort of date. So I'm thinking maybe BL 1948. B four. Nope. Okay, so there must be a clue to how yet three o'clock that works. Yeah, all the clocks have been stopped at three o'clock. Hmm. Hey Gothic, how you doing mate? Thanks for joining us. Um do not know how much you've seen, but I am raiding through this couple's house. Um but they're both dead, so I don't think they're gonna care that much. Try to find a code for this safe. Could just put other lights on. Um Doing good. Uh, how you doing? I am lost. Finds cat. This is a mess. Um, right. I don't think I am going to be finding any code anytime soon. Ah, moving. moving. What a pleasant activity. Unless these dice mean of something. Course. You'll find the record player only to find the records weeks later in some random box. Mm, I don't think those dice mean anything, so no, I'll just bugger off to somebody else's house. Or I can read the bins. Um I don't think it's based in real events. Um there's some kind of supernatural elements to it, like, well this woman here is pure encased in ice and I keep getting sent to this weird kind of dark reality where I see like the last moments before they get frozen and there's been mention of some monster that someone is hunting, like I found a like, kind of hunter's diary, um, talking about trying to hunt down some monster and basically everybody in the town doesn't have a clue. So it's going to be some kind of old supernatural evil I'm guessing. But, whoops, wrong button. Um, but I'm not sure. Everything seems connected. Somehow, but I'm not sure how everything's connected yet. Jesus, what are the buttons? Um, right. So, ah, oh, loading again. I don't think it's a horror. Nothing particularly scary's happened. Um, I think it's just more a kind of trying how it how it was described. Uh, it says like a kind of puzzle detective. What? A uh, puzzle detective game. It seems more thriller esque than it does horror. If that makes sense. There's been nothing that's jumped at it. Oh, been any sort of scary. What was even the point of locking your door? If everyone hid their key in the same place, Carl was starting to feel like his investigator life lacked challenge. <sighs> no, I'll try to figure out it's challenge enough. The smelled like incense, the kind that reminds you of the good Lord of peace. Does incense remind you of that? Family's mother must have spent her days washing the filth off her kids' diapers. Aye, uh, it's, it's, it is a lot more interesting than I thought it would be, to be completely honest. I wasn't sure about any of this. Ago, someone just grabbed the baby and made a run um, But it was sitting in Game Pass, so I thought, you know what, I'll get a try. I like a wee detective game, a bit of puzzle and stuff, but I, it's weird just seeing everything connect up, and I'm assuming it's going to just be one big conspiracy theory thing at the end but there's a, all the characters in this are just out the tree so, I've left all the foot behind um, there's one guy who desperately wants a drink and, and will give me clothes for it which is kind of weird 
No list changing the cracks. Um, there is, well, there's the rich guy. Uh, how far in there? I am. Um, must be a few hours in. Not that far. Um, I streamed this on Tuesday, and I think I did about a couple hours, and I've been at this for. I don't know how long we streamed actually. Oh, an hour. I so good few hours in. I've uh, not seen any monsters yet, but I've seen a lot of bodies, a lot of deep, well, frozen bodies, and one deep body. So it's been it's been very interesting so far. Who knew that giraffes thrived in the North Pole? The craze for toys was stupefying. Yeah, I like a good toy. I like that. Like, look at this. Giraffe with a top hat and a monocle. Love of religion and ancestors was rooted deep inside the hearts of Canadians of old, to which the Bedards appeared to be closely related. I will have to take the word for that of Canada being a religious country. I don't know much about Canada. Or religion, actually, to be honest. Works of art from a future artist. Oh, let's, let's not get too carried away. What's this? Marie. Who is Marie? Jean-Luc Bédard had without a doubt been the closest man in the village to William Hamilton, otherwise known as Uncle Willie. Okay. Uh, August 16th. Uh, August 16th. I have a diary just like Mum. Unlike her, though, I don't wear a long face when writing, but I do love to write my thoughts. And about Martin most of all. I love talking about him. I think he loves me too. Just like Romeo and Juliet. People don't like it when I see him, only because he's a bla blaze? I don't know what that is. Uh, but just like in the story, nothing can stand the way of true love. Uh, August 18. I lost appetite. I can't sleep anymore. Every waking hour, intense shivers run through my body. Dad's making me see Dr. Bupre. Oh, I cannot pronounce any of these French names. Um, although Marie's been the easiest. Uh, with his big hands touching me everywhere, his foul breath exhaling all over my face. Yuck. I'm not sick, I'm in love. I love Martin so much. There's nothing I like better than thinking about us playing together like we always do. I wonder if he found the key I lost the other day. Okay. He was pretty sad when I did because it's for his dad's garden shed and Martin has always been afraid of him. I think Martin's dad is a bit like dad's god. The key fell in the burrow next to the shed. Poor Martin, he cried like a baby, but I still love him. I see. Um, I, you know what? Gothic, I can't pronounce most of the names in this. Marie has been the easiest one, and William Hamilton. But I am awful at pronouncing French words in general, so anytime a French name comes up. Not good, no journal entry. Um, anytime a French name comes up, I am lost. And. Carl wasn't desperate enough to invade Carl well. <laughs> a village woman's privacy. Carl wasn't desperate enough to invade a village woman's Wait, privacy. Wait, so hold on. He can invade a young lassie's diary, but looking at a mum's is bang out order. Dream He's got some weird fucking models, this one. Legends. They were used to trap nightmares. Right, so if there's nothing left in here, then. Etch a sketch. I love an extra sketch. Religion was very influential throughout Quebec many years ago. Indeed, it was surprising that Carl did not come across a single chapel since arriving here. Now that's the point. Right. Now I'm pretty sure, I think to ne parler par français is that um hmm does that mean do you not speak or read French or something along those lines That's, oh, I can't tell you um I'll have to take your word for it if this if this is pretty consistent with 70s then they've done a good job that's much better Hardware. I don't really know what I'm looking for. 
Oh. A true Catholic always strives to keep lowly temptations at bay. Obviously, Carl thought, someone in this house wasn't doing a good job at upholding mm. the Holy Bible's teachings. Mm. Right, you don't speak French. Oh, I don't know, you're for Canada. Right, so. Well, there you go. Well, if this is pretty close to what Canada was like, then you should get a go. Have a go wander about in 70s Canada. <laughs> But the only uh, don't don't speak French thing I know is the girls allowed song, and that's where my knowledge ends. There's a lot of these totems about as well. Right, so I picked up a key, a small key, but I've not came through any sort of luck. And that's my castle. That box, not that key's not going anywhere. Carl smiled at the sight of the nicely protected garden. Hopefully, the Bedards had managed to dig every last potato out before the sudden snowfall. Hmm. So, Bedard. Um, what thing did I look at? In the garage or the inventory? It's the problem with these delays because I'm like, I'll see the chat and I'm like, a log with a face. Oh, this. Ah, uh, there's been a few of these. Um. Uh, there was like three, three of them um, back at the start of the game. It's just wee totems. I think going by the the diary I found it near the start of the game. It seems like it's a native that's writing it and like a kind of native hunter. Um, so I'm assuming it's something to do with that. I am not 100 percent sure. Aye, indigenous, indigenous carving, that's the word I'm looking for. Phrased much better than I put it, thanks for that. More matches. Right, no. Was there a lock somewhere? So we've got a small key. But nothing to put it in. It's not going to let me read that. No, read it now. Selfie's diary. The Bedards had vacated the premises. Ah, uh, I did see the, 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 the point of the map. No the dream catchers, I think they're in this room, actually. Um, They don't have totem poles in Quebec, so I'm curious which nation that would be. Might give insights to what's going on. Could be. Um, Where am I? It doesn't say... Quebec, it's. Ugh. You know what? Give me two seconds, I'll tell you exactly what it's meant to be set. And then you can let me know if it's an actual place or not, or if I'm just being an idiot, assuming it's a real place. It is set in Nord de Quebec. Nord de Quebec. A wee snowy town, apparently. Don't know if that's been made just for the game or if it's an actual place. So let's see. Selvi's diary. Um, Jean-Luc never had a knack for mathematics. Try as he might, he'll never realise that he simply cannot be the father of the child I'm bearing. Wow, okay. But how can I be sure? I have to keep this a secret, at least until the time is right, when it will be safe. Uh, August 16th, Dr. Bupre told me it would start showing soon, that I couldn't keep it hidden forever. Got a muster courage, he said, with his usual condescending tone. Courage to face what's coming, but he doesn't get it at all. For him... I just had some childish, childish affair. He doesn't realise I brought eternal damnation upon myself. Uh, September 14th, a month later. Marie is very sick and Jean-Luc plunges into despair. I told him nothing about the evil growing inside me. Sometimes I get the feeling he can see right through me. My Marie's suffering and I'm the one to blame. 
Oh Lord Almighty, why do children have to pay for their parents' sins? <laughs> well, aye, if you can look up if that's a real place and then let me know. So I can either go on, assuming it's like just me, oh that's a real place, or right this is all fake. So, <laughs> um, page 2, September 24th. Marie has recovered but there's something really gloomy about her now. She always seems so sad. Maybe she caught a glimpse of what dying is like. Uh, what if she's unhappy, an, un an unhappy child now because of me? Jean Luc truly honoured me two nights ago. If the baby makes it, maybe Dr. Du uh, Beaupre could convince him it was born prematurely. It's my only way out. October 11th, we're heading to Lac St. Jean tomorrow to visit Jean Luc's mother. I need to. The situation is untenable now and we feel the worst. Does none of that sounds good? Sick Wayne. Sick baby. Oh no, wait, no, there's nothing wrong with the Wayne. She's just had an affair. Did I check the cupboards? I must have because there's nothing there. I read that but... I know it was a wee cool giraffe. Right. There is nothing else here. That's not an anything. Um. I, oh, I can't find a safe in anything anywhere. Nothing else here. Uh, maybe something in the back, like another shed, maybe. Nope, just a lot of wood to line about. A lot of wood that leads to nowhere. Right, so I think we might be done with Bedard's house then. Um, who else have we stuck to check? We, Roy. Let's go have a look and see what Roy's got for us. Right, I'm getting used to if nothing, if there's no being narration that must mean there's like nothing else to be found. Don't really know how Marie, Sylvia, and John Luke are connected to anything, but I am sure I will find out soon. Right turn. So, whoop. We, Roy's house should be on the right hand side. And a few seconds. Why is my car slowing down? This is your man Roy's house. I've just realised how awful that text looks on screen. Did not realise it was white text against the white background. That is something I will need to fix. And get a decent background for. Oh. So we have a dog house and I just need to hope that there's no insane dogs in the house waiting for us. We fled. It was getting too dangerous. More people live in North Manaston. It will be safer there. She and Roy. Oh, Roy's the surname, not the first name. So I'm guessing if they... It was a classic Canadian house. Except for the absent horde of kids that would normally be swarming about. If they're gone... Then they definitely won't mind me having a look through the house. Is there a light switch? There is not. Okay, torch for now. And another note. The fantasy. Uh, Matthew? Mat Matthew? 
has yet to add murder to his curriculum. He was fond of new experiences, especially the most thrilling ones, and taking the life of a flesh and bone individual who the night before was still able to think, dream, fantasise, calculate, read, held the promise of exhilarating sensations. Unlike Raskolik... Oh, okay. Russian names now. Unlike Raskolnikov, it wasn't about axing an old Jewish hag to pieces to test some lunatic theory. Not at all. I'm gonna say that's Matthew, Matteo, Matthew. Someday. Just wanted to know how it felt. It seemed so simple. Horribly simple. He didn't have any particular victim in mind. Like most people, his desires ran quite wildly, so he only had a vague idea of them in mind. He pondered using a rifle or a knife, assassinating a young girl or an old man. He tried to focus on practicability. Practicability? Practicability? His victim would have to be defenceless. Uh, bodybuilding wasn't exactly Matthew's strong suit. He would have to act spontaneously, but not too much. He wasn't that eager to learn what spending the rest of his life in prison would be like. Some experiences carried just too high a cost to be worth it, really. I see. Okay. Just the back door. Yep. Right, not ready to leave just yet. Okay, nothing in the oven. Nope. Nope. Set some matches. Nothing in drawers or the cupboard. Cool. Can't get any closer. Never realised these were shoes before. Anyway. <laughs> Jesus man, they fled with absolutely nothing. The photograph was snapped not too far from here, Carl noticed. The couple seemed to be very Oh, you mean as in the living room? Pink colors. That is a cute wee cat. Mm. What else have we got? Don't want the telly on. Novel page three. Okay, I really can't be tripping through all these, but it's obviously someday fantasizing about killing somebody. I don't know if is it anything in the bag. What is this? An ammo box. Not a single weapon was left. All of them were gone. That I have noticed. Every time there's a gun rack, it is empty. Conap Conapoli. You win if you pass go. Hmm. I think it's a bit more strategic than that. Fantasy page two. This guy seems to have a bit of a problem with anybody that's Jewish. It's fantasizing about killing name. Hmm. It's all extremely unsettling. Um oh, one last room. Anything I can take for here. Fire stars. Um, I think that's it for here. Just one more move, and White is checkmated. Game over. It seems the game was abandoned right before the final strike came oh, down. I'd be raging if you were in the, the other one inside. Right, what I'm going to do is take a log. Have a wee swatch round the back. And I can't seem to get. Oops. Get decked up there. Um, don't think there's much else here for this, to be honest. Doesn't seem like it. No dog. Family's gone. Other than a really unsettling fantasy novel that someone was writing. Oh, um, I no problem, Gothic. Uh, you luck away. Um, I'll chat to you when you're next a bit. <laughs> I am um, right. Well done. I gather my thoughts here. So, 
I've seen all these Swissies. There is a cave that I probably shouldn't go to right now because the last cave I went to, I died for this. Being too bloody cold. Um, I will jump back to the Patriot's house and see if I can make this. I keep calling it Caribou, but I'm no sure if that's what it's called. Sorry, I just missed a message there. Um, Hold up, wait. Stop, stop the more. Just catching up with these messages here. Um, the first poles are hard to find, which a uh, specific nation is from. But if I were to guess, I'd say Cree, who do occupy Nord de Quebec. Also, like the Cree indigenous. That's, that's quite cool, that. Uh, going to read more about this, I really enjoy watching you play this game. Well, I, I really enjoy playing it, actually. So, at least there's two of us that are enjoying it, eh? Uh, let's see. I'm going in the wrong direction. See, I think I'd be able to tell my left or right from there by now, but I cannot, obviously. So, we are going to follow the road up to the bridge, jump back to the old Patriot's house where I can make this weird drink concoction that the old guy is desperate for and then maybe I can get some warm clothes and once I do that make my way back to the ice cavern and get much better at reading the map and driving and now that I've said that I'm going to crash into something that's my only problem with this is the I say long load times that's nah, it's not totally long. Oh I told you that was gonna happen. Wait. That tree was near there before. Was it? No, definitely wasn't it. I want to go this way before I crash again. Right, so we're going to pass the docks first and I'll pass the old guys on the right. So pass the docks first and set the house on the left and hopefully I can make whatever drink I'm meant to be making. map to make sure I don't completely miss my turn, which I probably shouldn't because it's the next left. Oh, too fast. Stressing poor car out here to drive better. Don't know if I'm better off taking the... Whoa. And that loads again. Uh, taking the snowmobile. Oh no, wait, I can't because I need to get the gate open before I can take the snowmobile away. House of the Patriot. So I have my bottle of sherry wine, which I stupidly assumed was two separate things. What do I do? Oh. Right, well, it's kind of and I'm missing something else still. Right, um, documents, was it? Uh, wallet, custom credit, doctor's note. So, tools and legends. Wait, Caribou recipe. Uh, white whiskey. Too much isn't a valid quantifier for that. And sherry wine. That's what it is. So, I have my sherry wine. I do not have my white vodka. Oh wait, oh was it white whiskey? My god, my memory is shocking. White whiskey. Oh, white whiskey spelt wrong, it should have an E in it. Um, 
If Carl had at any point wished to get his hands on some caribou, he couldn't have wished for better than a distillery like this Yes, one. I'm aware. Wait. Crashing into things. Did I? Oh no, wait, that was just a wee shooting range thing. So, none of the hussies back there have white whiskey. The shop doesn't have white whiskey. But, what I can do is go and check that last house, which I haven't checked yet. Uh, which is just past the shop, and with any luck, I'll get my hands on some whiskey. And then, whoop. And once I do that, I can do the big chain link and get some long clothes. Hopefully. So I'm back towards the shop, but I'm going to be taking a left and go build the bridge. In the dark, stock has nothing. Oh. Um, I just don't want to go to that cave on the right of the map yet. Because I'll probably die just as quick as I did in the ice cavern. Although, it does just say cave. Oh, you know what? I'm not even going to ask it. What's the point? So. Am I running on empty here? Like, do I need to... Oh wait, oh, wait, I probably do need to fill it up, don't I? Um, let's see. I'm not 100% sure if I can fill this up again, but we will find out in a second. Wouldn't surrender their divine nectar so easily. In all likelihood, they had to be switched on oh, for from God's inside sake. the store. Okay. I have to do this every time. Right. So the petrol's on. And gas can. Oh, oh wait, that's... I'm going to need to turn the car around. I so obviously do not drive in real life because if I did I would know to turn the car around so I can get the gas tank next to the petrol pump. A petrol tank, gas tank, probably what I call it. Oh, okay, well, uh, back briefly to let us know that you think you know what's going on. Let's let's hear it, Gothic. I am whoop, all about some theories. Let me know about some child lining up a car. Right, so, what do you think's happening? I'm fine with that. I like if it turns out it's true, that's no problem, absolutely no problem with me. So, too fucking close to the gas. No, can I get out of the car? So, I, uh, what do you think is uh, chasing people down the ton? Gas can. I don't have a gas can. Okay. So, the, oh, right, Give me two settings was to shine. Oh, my laptop's up your awkward angle. Uh, the Obeshwe are another group that live in the area. The dream catchers and poles of their art. And they believe in something called the Wendigo. It's a sinister spirit. I'm certain that's it. There actually has been mention of a Wendigo. There, oh, where did I see it? was in someone's house and they just happened to have a random clip of a Wendigo uh, or like a, like a magazine clip of a Wendigo um, 
a wee bit of information, but I didn't actually make that connection. The, what is that? The Canadian Encyclopedia? Oh, I will give that a wee read after this. Love, love, love supernatural stuff. So I am well into that. But aye, that, that must be it. If that was, well that's you mentioning that. That mentioning the Wendigo and it was mentioned um, in the game. Well, I suppose I'm going to have to do... If you're going to be dealing with a Wendigo, it might be scary. I do not doubt that. <laughs> oh. Blaze House. Um, I suppose dealing with any supernatural thing is pretty scary. Except zombies. I've not been bothered with them. A wintry atmosphere surrounded the house. The soundlessness of the area suggested it was empty. Oh. Wait. Suggested it was empty, but the lights are on. Right. Hold on. Hold on. I have got just a thing for this. Hatchet. Can I be having anything jump out? Is someone ran out of time packing his luggage? I'm not gonna lie, those are some funky shots. <laughs> Cheers, you luck away. Money in a jar. What a shame. Carl would have loved cookies. I would have preferred the money. And yet he's not taking it. He's been fine with stealing random stuff for people's houses, but he won't take any money. And considering the guy that hired him is dead, I'd be grabbing all the money I possibly could. Because he's not paying us. Some cigs. That's a pile of nothing. Attach white. Wait, I had to do that in another house, and I completely forgot I was meant to do that. The key, which seemed to be meant for a padlock, bore an inscription reading "Clute a fix." Clute a fix. A company name. Better keep an eye open. Businesses weren't exactly numerous around these parts. That is true. Um, beer bottles and steaks. I know the steaks are for the picture had the been taken inside that. To save us having to kill them. The same wallpaper, judging by the smiles. No You're right, mate. How's it gone? Um, what is going on in this here town? Well, I am not a hundred percent sure yet. Oh, what was this? This furniture has been moved several times. So, well, let me catch you up. I am Carl. Something. I cannot remember the surname. But Big Carl has been hired uh, by someone called Mr. Hamilton to investigate. I think it was a, like a kind of theft or something. Um, and he owns a general store. You turn up to the general store and find out that he's been killed. So it is now a murder investigation. Although I would have just turned around and left. But not Carl. Not Big Carl. He's, he's all about the private investigation. So, try to find out who has killed Mr. Houghton, but it does seem like everyone in the town has a problem with him. But, some random kind of townspeople have, have came across him being encased in ice. Um, and it's taken a bit of a supernatural turn. There, has, there was a wee theory floated earlier um, that it could be a Wendigo, who is a very sinister spirit. So I'm guessing it's gonna it's gonna have something to do with that. I don't really know how this connects to Hamilton's death. But it does somehow. I'm guessing because everything else is connected so far. But for now what I'm trying to do is find a bottle of whiskey. See I've never see I'm writing the supernatural stuff and I have heard a Wendigo's but I could not tell you what they're meant to look like or anything about them. I remember them in, in the programme Supernatural, but that is my limit. I can't even remember what they looked like in Supernatural. 
So what I'm doing just now... I have played... Wait. There was a wind. Oh! I have played until dawn. It was the Wendigo's the weird monster thing that was in the cave or something like that. That weird kind of skinny monster. Was it Screech or something like that? Let's see. Note from Martin Blaze. Blay. My sweet Marie. Please excuse my handwriting. I'm in a hurry. I have to leave for North Manaston with Mum and Mrs. Roy. As they say, it's far too dangerous around here these days. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I don't know much about what's going on because Mum won't tell me anything in attempt to reassure me. But all I know is she has the exact same expression on her face as when I startle her. Dad and Mr Roy aren't coming because they have gone to get Mr Lachance. They're real heroes. My grandmother lives in a very big house in North Manaston. You would be welcome there. I must go now, quite literally, your friend Martin. Um. Oh shit. I sorry. Spoilers for Until Dawn. Um. But I did a big part, so I think, I think you know what it is. So I, sorry if I've just spoiled and told on for anybody, but uh, yeah, that can get quite uh, supernatural as well. So what are we doing here? A uh, bit of reading to pass the time. So. What is this? This just looks like a drawing. It doesn't really mean anything. The Spirograph amused Carl. It was a nice modern toy. Aside from being repetitive by nature and completely useless. Um, he still, whispered it to it us. Found its way into many I see, I am not 100% sure on how to find any whispers. So, because hmm. I'm doing this with Streamlabs so and I'm not 100% sure how this works. Uh, let me see. Oh, you know what? I'll find it later. Uh, but I chose, chose for that. I'll, I'll figure it out at some point. I really should spend some time just messing about with um with Streamlabs and like properly figure it out. Because anytime something happens, I'm just sitting here going. I felled trees and chopped woods for a okay. fist. <laughs> oh, that was a piece of paper I probably should have paid attention to. Oh well. I need my flashlight. Um, where are we going? Upstairs. I keep finding. I keep getting new. Right. Hold on. Let me double check. I keep getting journal entries, but I'm not sure what the in connection to. Um. Oh, but they, oh, these are all people. And I'm assuming I need to find more information on all these people. And film a wee journal. Right, what you got for me here? Another drawing. Le monster. Right now. I do not speak French, but I'm pretty sure that says the monster. Oh. Right, Streamlabs is oh, Streamlabs is really good. I just don't have a clue how to work it. You should have seen how long it took me to see to get the setup with like the camera and the logo and the chat and stuff. Took me a pure age to figure that out. Only to tormented mind smoking bed. I'll have to take your word for that. Um, nothing. You should have seen how long it took to find the things, like, or the start and zoom screens and stuff like that. That was that was horrible. Louise's diary. Um, I feel the worst for Alexander. He hardly gets any sleep. I thought it was the work, but it seems to be far worse than that. From dusk till dawn, he stares into into the void. Uh, he barely speaks to me. His son asked me asked him to play, but. Start that again. His son asked him to play the ball and he didn't say a word. And that way he has to glance the way he has to glance at the window. Last night I heard him mumble in his sleep, he's coming, he muttered mum mum murder murmured murmured. Uh, I don't know why, but those words left a deep impression on me. He woke up shortly after, covered in sweat. He couldn't remember his dream, obviously. He didn't go back to sleep after that, chain smoking the night away over the window. 
He told me to pack my things this morning. I wonder why. Does he himself know? We're waiting, but for what? I think... I think I feel... Dread. I am... I'd probably feel like that as well, to be fair. Nope, keeping that light on. Okay, blank picture frame. So, I'm... Can open the window? A window oh, left open, open in that weather? Perhaps something had to be watched. Oh, creepy. Um... The sheets were in such a way that indicated a rude awakening, followed by a hurried escape. Oh my god, I've just what realized that here? they're making their boy sleep outside the room. Fair enough. What? What? Okay. Um. I didn't think there was, was a creepy game, but oh shit. Right, I am going to have to... Uh, I'll have three bullets. If I can sneak past it, then fine. Stupid fucking wolf. See if that's what I'm like for a wolf. I have no idea how I'm going to handle a wendigo. But see, I shut that door. And those will be my footprints. I hope. When finding a boot, one wonders what became of the foot. I'm assuming it just came at the boot. There's nothing that was sent too bad. Oh, check the bins. It's been a few times there's been things in bins and it has turned me into a massive bin raider. And I don't like it. Hatchet. We don't need a key for. What's this? Carl's big fingers prevented him from reaching the key. Wait, wait a minute. I need. Wait, go on by that. I need a magnet and a piece of string. Now, where can I find a piece of string? And a magnet. Because I have looked through that house and I. Well, if I saw a string on a magnet, I would have picked it up. See a house that big when you back door. Man, that doesn't mean anything to anybody or have any relevance to this game. It's just a random observation. Right, so. Oh, wait. That says that's a magnet. But there's no magnet sitting there. Right, I need to attach a wire. No. Is there some sort of wire about the place? Can I just make one? Can I just rip apart some curtains? Because it's not like anybody's coming back for any of the stuff, so I'm not going to miss it. Love a good bowl of Cocoa Pops. That's no fucking Cocoa Pops! Rice Krispies! I can see it. I can see it says like Rice Krispies. What, what did it say? Rice Crunches even. And I thought Rice Krispies. Oh. People worry about myself sometimes. The amount of crap comes up my mouth and I don't mean it to. Oh, and I'm thinking of something else. Right, come on. One of has to have some string somewhere. Crouch. 
possible creation for a mechanical drawing toy. Hmm, I don't know. If I had a bit extra sketch, I'd give that a try. Why is there no... There's no string anywhere. There was another house that said I needed to attach something to a piece of string. But I couldn't find a piece of string. There's definitely nothing in here. Nothing in the drawer. Nothing in the bin. Wonder who was the arsehole that took the little side one because I didn't want to risk banging their head. Um, so hockey sticks. See, should be able to use hockey sticks to fish out that key. There's definitely no strings anyway. I'm definitely not missing anything. I'm just overlooking something in a cupboard. Money, money right. in a jar. Money in a jar. What a shame. Carl would have loved cookies. Touch wires, not in that drawer. Nothing on the shelf. No. Hmm. Right. Okay, I'm losing the will a little bit. I'm not going to lie. Bulbs blunt out. Fantastic. Um. I'm saying that like it means anything, it's not my house. Well, looks like someone woke up on the wrong side of the bed. That's one way to phrase it, I. Oh, newspaper. An unsolvable accident? Okay. Um, over the last few days, a lack of resources forced the death, death investigation of Pierre Blade to come to a halt. The autopsy of the body, conducted over the last few weeks, didn't reveal any clue that could have helped, with the, invest helped the investigators who refused to comment on what would have happened next. This new development is happening in the context of the hypothesis of an accident which is still, in spite of scepticism expressed by the local population, the ongoing official cause of death provided by the authorities. The incident is said to have occurred in the forest surrounding Lake Atamapec. Pierre Blais was found lifeless two weeks ago near a footpath leading to the soon-to-be-restarted copper mine. Blais, an engineer by training who was working on behalf of the consortium, headed by William Hamilton, was reportedly in charge of the development plans surrounding the reopening of the mine. At first, police had, disclo had disclosed that the body had been desecrated. Today, the official version is that it was partly devoured by beasts, hence there is no assumption that a crime had been committed. That sounds proper grim. So when desecrated, it just means it's, it's not in one piece, basically. Right, I am going. What am I going to next? Uh, I've got a wee bit of time left. Um, shack. Did I go to the shack? I did not go to the shack, actually. So, nope. What I want to do is turn around, go to the shack. Oh, the shack might actually have some whiskey for me, which I am in need of to get some caribou, or however you pronounce it. That's not the road. So, check out the shack. Where am I going? I am going to pull out here. Oh shit. Mind the letterbox. Oh, the letterbox. Most letterboxes have had something for me. Is this one going to let me down? Yes. Okay. And this one. So. We are... where are we going? We are going... left... It's not letting me lift the map up. There we go. Okay, so we're going this way and going to want to turn left. Oh. Um, where is the road? What does that say? See this something or other. Wait. Wait a minute. Right, so that means private properly. Clutia a fells feels feel however that's pronounced. There was a receipt in the blaze playhouse for this. The woodlots. 
Oh. Right, those I've had tracks lead me to some weird things before, so. Oh well, do actually check this shit first. It was a typical they, ship, just like the ones you hear about I in Quebec collections. Local lumberjacks okay. used it to rest and twice a day eat up their pea soup. I don't have fucking logs. I keep forgetting to pick it up. Who quits a game one step away from victory? That's twice I've done that to a chessboard now. Um, get some light in here. So there's a shack that people come and just chill out, do what they're doing, and nobody leaves a bottle of fucking whiskey for me. Not in this case. Oh, get some more six. Oh. Oh, of course the inventory's full. Um, let's see, deposit, deposit. What don't I need? I suppose I can get rid of some packs of them. Oh wait, that's still going to be filling up. I'm going to need to get rid of something. I can't just get rid of some things, of some of some things. Um, don't need a flare. I don't even have a flare gun, so. Oh my god, it's still full. Jesus, man, he's going to die of cold before I figure it Um, Should have a water bottle in there. Um, ammo box. Got the bell bottles in it. Right, no. No, I should be able to get a log. Half full, half the empty. Over food, the clothes, the general warmth of the place, no evidence of escape. Carl was sure of it. People were here not long ago, oh. and they expected to come back. They expected to, does that mean the gunny? Oh. Right. Um. What have I got? Cabin. A. Oh, right, cabin A. Fuck's sake. Just need to figure that one out. Let's follow some tracks and see what it leads us to. After I do a bit of bin raiding. Empty bottle. And now I'm just taking rubbish. Like. What have you got for me? And the last time it led us to something quite suspicious. Um, oh, I'll do it again. And oh, 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 shit! Oh my god! I put my gun away, didn't I? Oh no, didn't he? Right. Do one. I'm going to have to use those bullets wisely. Someone had been practicing with a crossbow. The best way to hunt cattle. All the same, this bolt had something odd. Something shiny about it. Ah, it's like... Wait. This happened the last time I took a picture. There was glowing uh, footprints. What's this? Oh, it's matches. <gasps> My magnet. I just need to find some string. Don't know if these are actually going to lead us anywhere. I'll lead us to something. Well, it looks like I can get closer to my shack. So I'll follow the prints and see if there's anything else. See, there's all this crap, there's no wood. And I really need to start a fire. See if I was really smart, I would have picked up a few logs when I was back at the first shack. 
I didn't, because I am not that smart. Clearly. Really don't need a 40 and another crystal. Right, so. Wow, I'm lost, I'm lost, I'm lost. Right. Um So following these. Following these, where will these take us to exactly? It's taking us away from the shack. I'll have a quick swatch, see if there's anything anything of interest. Oh shit, what is it? Two thirds should be okay. I can't actually see if there's anything. No, it's taking us too far away from any sort of heat source, so I'm gonna gonna let it reload is what I'm gonna do. Eventually. Right, we are loaded. Um when I'm going, I'm going to the shack, which is this direction. Pretty much this way. And I'm hoping that I get to it. There is some wood outside and I can set a fire. And I just need to hope that Nay nee, Wolf's are going to jump at us again because I will probably shut myself. Do we have any logs outside? It was so cold. Already Carl did not feel his toes anymore. Okay. Welcome to Alibaba's cave. Lumberjack edition. Oof. Surely Carl would find something worth his time in here. I thought I was gonna be able to get a chainsaw as a weapon. Forest cabin key. Tool shed note. To Paul and Jean Pierre, don't forget to return the key for the cabin if you have to use it. Thank you. Your supervisor. PS, the next bus for Ooh, how am I going to say this? Uh, Shibu Gam Gamal, Shibu Gamal, will be October twelfth. Next one is two weeks later. Hey, okay. Some Polaroids, some matches, and note. And you still don't have Got some hardware, but still need whiskey. Disappointing me here, man. Because I feel like I've looked at everything. Oh wait, I haven't. I've still looked at cabin B. Fire starters. And cabin B is not too far from here. Oh, it's actually pretty far from here. Oh, I'm going to need to find a heat source. Because... Alright, your man, Carl's going to die soon if I don't. So I will jump back. Get a heat in me. Um, so if it's worth my while going one way or the other, Cabernet's probably there. I know Cabernet's definitely got some heat. So if I can make it back before he dies and freezes over, um, get a heat in his, and I'll jump the car up to Cabin B. That's why the fuck I'm walking in the snow with no thermal clothing whatsoever is beyond me. Cabin A should be here. But it isn't. Uh, oh, there it is. Right. I'm pretty sure that's it. But that's it, a firing cabin A. So what we can do is grab some logs. Oh, of course it's full. One log's going to have to do now. There we go. There we go. Get a heat in you. Can I climb up here? It doesn't let me jump inside the house for some reason, which I find really weird. I can jump outside, but... There's no... Uh, I need jumping inside. Oh, I was half full or half empty. I'm going to go with the optimistic half full, because why not? Right, jumping in the car, I've got a plank of wood, 
looking at cabin B. I'm hoping cabin B has no whiskey because see if it does me. I don't know what I'm gonna do because it's I think it's the only place I haven't looked at yet. Um, well, I haven't actually went further than this wee section. There could be other hussies further up. And I'm just not marked in the map. It could have a whiskey. Cabin is. I can't even see. It should be. Oh, that was stupid. Stop. This is a absolute banger of a motor that struggles to go up the slightest incline. And there's your cabin B. B. Cabin B. Lots of space. No windows. Hopefully its users aren't prone to dementia. What? Without a single window to brighten things up, the inside of the cabin was almost pitch black. Beware of close encounters of knee and furniture. I don't know why this is just really unsettling, having a cabin with zero windows. Card game just that's, that's all I tell. Solid. No. A card game only hermits can truly enjoy. Yeah. Carl felt depressed at the thought of playing this. What the fuck's wrong with Solitaire? <sighs> Carl doesn't know it's no. Carl's just a bit of a bam. I've decided. It's none of the most like women characters. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's a toothbrush. This toothbrush is still wet. Oh. Okay. Not close to run out of food. Nope. I can't use some duct tape for something. Suitcase with clean clothes. Everything was set up for a well deserved snack. It seemed like the place hadn't been empty for long, but without knowing exactly why, Carl had the feeling no one was coming back anytime soon. Hmm. Are they all deep? Oh, and it's just full still. Um, still. I haven't emptied it, of course it's still full. Um, can I drop something? Equipment. Uh, and the tray. Oh, I can discard stuff. But I don't want it just in case. The forest cabin key. No. The forest cabin. And it's that. Cabin A, Cabin B. That greenery really looks like a forest, so there might actually be a wee forest cabin up there. And I don't think I'm going to be able to drive there. So, um, let's have a wee swatch, shall we? Better, am I? No. Um. That's not what I did, eh? That's what I want. Um. So, can I get run? Um, <clears throat> okay. uh, can I get, can I get through the trees? So, I don't know what forest this cabin is going to be in. This is maybe this one, and it's just not marked in the map. Hmm. I'm not sure. Let's just have a quick look around. Uh, just look at the back, there is another arrow. The crossbow bolts had the same origin. Carl was sure of it. Who was it? Now what am I going to see in this? What was being hunted like this? See, there's my footsteps. Like here. 
off us. I'm losing my... No. Take a picture of here. So move back a bit. See if anything else appears. Quite a few footprints. Oh, okay, I didn't see these before. Oh, it was just twigs. I wonder what, why that sounded so different. Um, I don't know what's my heat like. Ah, we're fine, we're fine. There must be some reason to follow these if they were glowing in that photo. Wait, that's something. Shit, there's rules again. Um, how do I pull up my gun? How do I get my options up? Oh, I'm panicking, forgetting all the buttons. Um, equipment. Hop gun. Right. Just gonna bugger off. Shit. Oh, what? I actually genuinely meant that as a warning shot. Fuck. I actually feel quite bad about that. Double back. I'm gonna have to double back. Pause. Right, that's annoying. Because I'm not warm enough and I've got no space for any logs, and I'm probably gonna have to go back and get some logs so I can. Carl wondered how long he would have to endure this skin stinging. Aye, I, I get it. Going back to the cabin, Camden. I'm just gonna pull out the camera. Aye. You know what? I'll take a photo of this and see. Right, that's got some footprints as well. Don't know what those footprints are. I'll put your camera away. Um, let's follow the print back. I'm gonna have to unload all this stuff again. Take a log away so I can. Oh shit! I don't know if there was any logs in this house, near this house. I really don't have to go all the way back to. Cabin A. Oh, wait, this might be something. Are we hoping for some whiskey? Beer bottles and steaks. Cool. Little way to the bins. That's that. Oh my god, I thought there was somebody standing there. It was my shadow. Jesus. Right. I think. Wow, well, streaming for a couple of hours now. I think that's time to call it. Um, oh, don't really know where I'm going to find this whiskey, but there must be there must be something. Oh wait, I've got the mines. The mines still look. Hold on, let me pull this map up. So that cave, La Chance was the one. I think he was the one with the letter morning about the. Like the mines, like causing a cave in or something like that, needed us. Um, so I should should be able to check that cave and not die because ice cave was freezing, which I died of that. Cave should be fine. So, so I for next time then. Um, but next time I will. The radio tower there? I don't know what's that for. I'm gonna to have to take the trail. There's the cabin. That that, mark, that wasn't in there before. So I'm gonna to have to find some warm clothes before I go up there. Unless I go after the whiskey. You know what? That doesn't matter. I'm gonna to have to go to the cabin at some point. But first I will follow those footprints. Um 
and check out the main that's what we'll do next but that will be for next time i think actually before i do anything before i forget i end up putting it off save game saving and we'll save cool so yep uh so that is the plan for next time i will we'll dive in follow the footsteps check out the mine hopefully find some whiskey and get some warm clothes because i'm assuming if i'm wearing thicker warmer clothes i won't need to find huts like this as often and build fires because i keep running out the logs of it and running out of space for them as well don't know why i need to miss a bit with that so yeah thanks for watching all i will be back on tuesday uh, the normal time of seven and we will continue this and see if we can unravel the mystery some more and don't know if i we'll, don't know if we'll come face to face to the wendigo but we're going to be following those glowing footsteps so going to find something but we'll see for now i am going to go and check out what a wendigo is thanks to gothic and the link to the canadian encyclopedia and if it's as horrible as people are saying it is, I will probably have some nightmares, so I have that to look forward to. But for now, I will oh, grab my phone, um, say my goodbyes, I will thank you for watching again, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Um, what button is it? Find this. I'll get used to this eventually and I'll be able to do it without even looking at it, but for now, there it is. So, bye, catch you later.